हे गाइस वेलकम बैक एवरीबॉडी होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन सिनेरियो बेस्ड नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विद आंसर एंड दिस इज माय सिनेरियो इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एज यू कैन सी इन माय सिनेरियो देयर इज वन राउटर कनेक्टेड टू वन मल्टी लेयर स्विच एमएलएस स्विच दिस इज एमएलएस स्विच राइट एंड बोथ द डिवाइस आर1 एंड स्विच1 आर कनेक्टेड टू एक्सेस लेयर डिवाइसेस like here i have one access layer switch 1 access layer switch 2 right you can say connected with lan lan device right and question is can i configure two osp of neighborship between r1 and r2 can i have two osp of neighborship between r1 and r2 question can be asked in different way also same question like question can be can i configure two subnet between r1 and switch 1 can i configure two subnet between R1 and switch one because if you can configure two subnet that means you can configure two OSP of neighborship you can configure two number of EIGRP neighborship right so answer of this question is definitely yes we can configure two OSP of neighborship we can configure two subnet between order one and multi layer switch reason is this is multi layer switch that's why it is possible but you can not configure this port as a layer three port in that case. you have to configure this port as layer 2 port and we can create the svi here right for an example see i have only one link between r1 and switch 1 so if i will make this port as a layer 3 port l3 port and by default you know router ports are l3 ports so both are l3 port now we can configure one ip over here one ip over here then we can have up to one osp of neighborship we can only configure one subnet here between R1 and switch one, only one subnet. But guys, instead of making this port as L3 port, what we can do here? What other option I have? I can configure this port as a layer two port, L2 port, and then I will configure this port as trunk port, so that it can carry no traffic of multiple VLAN, all the VLAN, right? And on the multi-layer switch, I can create two SVI, one for VLAN 10 and one for VLAN 20, right? For an example, here I have configured IP. 10.1.1.1. Here I have configured IP 20.1.1.1. Right. So these two are the SVI on this multi-layer switch on this MLS switch. And on the router I have again one physical interface. So you know on the router what we can do we can create sub interface. Right. I can divide this interface into two part. F0 slash 0 of router one into two part. Right. I can divide. F zero slash zero into two part. F zero slash zero dot ten and F zero slash zero dot twenty. It can be one, two, or hundred, two hundred, right? Any number. So now I have divided this one physical interface is interface into two sub interfaces, and I am going to encapsulate. I am going to configure dot one Q encapsulation protocol for VLAN ten over here on this interface. So this interface is going to carry the traffic of VLAN. 10 and i will configure dot 1q encapsulation protocol for this interface dot 1q encapsulation protocol for vlan 20 to this interface or in other word you can see i can assign this interface to vlan 10 and i can assign this interface to vlan 20 right now make sure whatever encapsulation protocol here you have configured on the trunk port on multi layer switch 1 same encapsulation protocol should be configured over here For an example, on the trunk link, my encapsulation protocol is dot one Q, and here also I have configured dot one Q on dot one Q. Here also encapsulation protocol is dot one Q. So in this case, both the device. Now here I can configure one IP address from the same subnet. Let's say here slash value is twenty four. Here also slash value is twenty four, right? So on the F zero slash zero dot ten, I am going to configure IP ten dot one dot one dot. 2 slash 24, and here I am going to configure 20 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 slash 24, and now you can see I have two subnet between router and multi-layer switch one. On the both subnet we can form one OSP of neighborship, so we can have two OSP of neighborship between router and switch here, right? After that you can check the connectivity also, like 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 will be able to ping 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2. Or 20.1.1.1 will be able to ping 20.1.1.2 over here because both sub interfaces are going to carry traffic of one VLAN. 
this interface this sub interface is going to carry traffic of vlan 10 this in this sub interface is going to carry traffic of vlan 20 let me show you practically okay so here what we can do here i have access of both devices r1 on the r1 so ip interface brief so see there is no any ip address configured till now on router and on the switch also you can check duplex mismatch mismatch no worry so ip interface brief here also you can see i don't have any ip address so guys the first option is i can make this port as a layer 3 port then we can have one submit then we can run one submit on this link right that is first option but in that case you can only run one submit between these two devices we can have only one ospf neighborship or eigrp neighborship or bgp neighborship right or rip protocol between dot one and switch one but with the help of svi or sub interface on router we can have multiple submits let me show you what i will do here first of all i am going to configure e0 slash 0 of switch one as a trunk interface face let me make this interface to trunk interface interface e0 slash 0 and switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and then switch port mode trunk done now you can verify it do so interface trunk so you can see here 0 slash 0 is configured as trunk and uh, encapsulation protocol is dot 1q here you can check like this way e0 slash 0 trunk trunk and encapsulation protocol is dot 1q status native vlan is 1 fine and now i am going to create here two svi interface interface vlan can ip address for an example 10.1.1.1255255255.0 dot 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 exit interface vlan 20 and ip address 20.1.1.1255255255.0 and we need to run no set command also in the simulation vlan 10 in no set right here you can verify the ip address ip address con ip configuration on switch so ip interface brief i'm saying exclude unassigned for me the assigned interface so guys one interface here vlan 10 interface is up you can see line protocol of vlan 10 interface is up but the line protocol of vlan 20 interface is down the status is also down what can be the reason what can be the reason of this svi why this svi is down guys maybe vlan 10 exist in the vlan database but vlan 20 does not exist in the vlan database so whatever svi interface you are creating on the switch make sure that vlan must be there in the vlan database right so let me show you the vlan database here so vlan brief yes you can see vlan 10 is there but vlan 20 is not there so simply i can create one vlan here vlan 20 and say exit right now so vlan brief we have both the vlan vlan 10 and 20 and so ip interface brief right soon this interface will come up wait for some time So run interface VLAN 20. Let me check. Okay, no set command is required here. Let me add no set command again, VLAN 20, and say no shutdown. By the way, here you can see the line protocol of this interface is up now. So IP interface brief. You can see now both SVAs are up status and their line protocol. Now so IP route in the routing table you can see two submits are directly connected now let me take you to router r1 right and on r1 i am going to divide f0 slash 0 into sub interface so interface f0 slash 0 here i am going to run no set command that's it exit and interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 here what i told you encapsulation protocol should be same right whatever encapsulation protocol we have configured on the trunk link so encapsulation protocol on trunk link is dot 1q so here also i am going to configure dot 1q and for which vlan we are going to assign this port for vlan 10 done and after that ip address 10.1.1.2255255255.0 dot 
got it then interface f0 slash 0 dot 20 encapsulation dot 1q for vlan 20 here and say ip address ip address over here is going to be 20 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 done now so ip interface brief here you can see so ip interface brief exclude unassigned so guys my both sub interfaces are up their status and their line protocol ip over here is 10.2 ip over here is 20.2 now we can verify the connectivity i can try to ping switch right or from the switch you can try to ping router ping 10.1.1.1 which is the ip address of switch one so this ping should work yes you can see ping is working right and when i am going to ping 10.1.1.1 router will check the routing table and in the routing table it will find which interface has exit interface so ip route destination ip will match in this subnet right which is connected on f0 slash 0 dot 10 and f0 slash 0 dot 10 is assigned to vlan 10 so this interface is going to carry traffic of vlan 10 okay so it will add tag value on this interface whenever router will forward traffic on this interface from this interface it is going to add tag value even when switch is going to forward traffic from the trunk link switch is also going to add tag value right and when router will receive it on the the f0 slash 0 interface it will check tag value only right if tag value is 10 then router will assign this traffic to f0 slash 0 dot 10 if tag value is 20 then router will assign traffic to will hand over traffic to f0 slash 0 dot 20 right so there is reachability now we can configure ospf here or any routing protocol ospf reap eigrp or bgp router ospf let's say process one and here i am going to run command network 10.1.1.0 while karma 0.0.255 area 0 then go to switch and here also let me enable the routing first by running command ip routing and then router ospf 1 and here i am going to say network network 10.1.1.0 while karma 0.0.255 area 0 and now i am expecting ospf neighborship between switch and router right so guys right now i will have ospf neighborship between f0 slash 0 dot 10 and here vlan 10 interface right over here we have ospf neighborship correct you can see the log message even this is duplex mismatch log message soon we'll have ospf neighborship also what happened So IP OSPF neighbor. So neighbor is in two-way state, and now you can see we have the log message of neighborship. Neighborship state is full. Now you can check so IP OSPF neighbor. Neighbor is there is DR. If you want to avoid the DR, you can change network type also here interface VLAN 10 and say IP OSPF network point to point, and on the router. Also here we can say interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 IP OSPF network point to point. Right now so IP OSPF neighbor. Done. So we have one neighbor one OSPF neighborship between router and switch. Now we are going to configure another neighbor. Okay. Another neighbor of OSPF. So let me say config t and router ospf let's say this time process id is 10 and here i am going to run which command 20.1.1.0 while karma 0.0.255 and area 0 then interface f0 slash 0 dot 20 and here i am going to say network type point to point ip ospf network point to point then let me take you to switch and on the switch router ospf 10 and network 20.1.1.0 while karma 0.0.255 area 0 then exit interface vlan interface vlan 20 interface vlan 20 and ip ospf network point to point right so now i am expecting two ospf neighborship between router and switch one 
over f zero slash zero zero slash zero dot ten and VLAN ten interface. Here we should have one OSPF neighborship and one guys over f zero slash zero dot twenty and between VLAN twenty between VLAN twenty and this sub interface also we should have here OSPF neighborship. So let's verify the OSPF neighborship once again on the router one. So IP OSPF neighbor. So IP OSPF. So IPO is PF neighbor and now you can see we have two neighbor we have two neighbor neighbor ID 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 dot 20.1.1.1 both are the IP address of switch one this is the IP address of VLAN 10 interface this is the IP address of VLAN 20 interface right and one neighbor is on F0 slash 0 dot 20 See, this is nothing but the router ID, right? You know the router ID election of OSPF, right? First router will check the highest interface, loopback interface IP address. If loopback does not exist, then router is going to check physical interface IP address, highest IP address of physical interface, okay? So, this router have selected both the IP address as router ID. This, this is the router ID for OSPF process 10, and this is the OSPF router ID for process 1. So two process of OSPF is running over here. One neighbor is there on F0 slash 0 dot 10 and one neighbor on F0 slash 0 dot 20. Right? So this was a small interview question guys. Right? Many time interview is asking questions from these types of scenario. Just to make you confused they can connect router to MLS switch and then they can ask you these kinds of question. Hope it is clear. Okay. And guys, if you have learned anything from this video, then please hit on like button. If you have any question, query, concern, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I will meet you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you so much for the watching. Bye-bye.